In this video we'll look at how the report spec page gathers information from regions and components and creates a text report from Spectra. The report spec page makes use of VAMAS blocks that are selected. In this case I've just got a Gallium 2P selected and that's because I've got two peaks within this spectrum and I've defined two regions and I've defined two components. This will allow us to look at the same pieces of information about the fourth half maximum or the area or the height of these peaks based on regions or components. Now a table generated from the selected VAMAS block will be formed based on the information in a configuration file. This is an example of a configuration file that is set up for regions and when the regions button is pressed we should expect to see a column corresponding to a variable that will be the experimental variable for the VAMAS block the name and that will be the name that's taken from the region the position that's calculated forward half maximum calculated and I've also indicated peak to peak and this is the one that is of particular interest in this video is that we are going to extract the height of a peak above the background using peak to peak and using the standard report to do so. I've also included the peak to peak concentration and this will be calculated based on the peak to peak height but other adjustments to the peak height will be made based on relative sensitivity factors, transmission, escape depth and they all go into creating this concentration here just as in this case of the raw area similar corrections will be made to generate a concentration based on the peak area. So there's the region quant table.txt file. It's in the CASA XPS.def directory and when I press the region button a text report is generated and you can see the name has come from the regions and I've got the position, the forward half maximum, the raw height, the percent concentration based on the raw height I know that because of how the configuration file was created and I've also got the raw area and the atomic concentration calculated based on the raw area. So we can see that actually the concentration looks very similar between the raw height and the raw area when the adjustments are made. But this is a bit of an illusion because the reality is the forward half maxima are very similar and therefore the area and the height will be almost equivalent when you have the same forward half maxima. However, if they're different, then the concentration calculated using the same RSFs for the height and the area would be very different. And I can illustrate this if I go to another file. And this file contains a single region, but it has two components here and here. And these are the names for the components once again you can see I've added region here so we can identify the fact that they we're not gathering information from the region we're just gathering from the components so we'll go to the report spec page we will select this VAMAS block that is displayed so that the report spec will gather information from the selected VAMAS block and this time I'm going to use the components option and the components option has a corresponding configuration file component quant table.txt that's also in the CASA XPS.def directory and again I've got the peak to peak and the concentration and again the area and the area concentration there are a few other pieces of information in this one different from the regions but nevertheless when I press the components we'll see corresponding information to what we saw with the gallium 2p so here we have the raw area this is, as you'd expect, very s close to two, 2 to 1 for this 2p doublet. However, when you look at the height, you can see that the concentration calculated using the same relative sensitivity factors is very different. And that's because the fourth half maximum for each of these component peaks is very different. So you only get the same results from height as you do from area if you have the same forward half maxima and in general 
the quantification from a height will be very different from the quantification from an area. So we'll go back to the gallium and this time we'll use the components on the gallium and you can see that the components are fitting the data very nicely and they have a very similar forward taft maxima I've actually constrained them to be identical so now the report spec page using the same configuration file applied to these gallium components as opposed to the regions again you can see that the height has produced very similar result in terms of the atomic concentration based on height to the area but the reason for that is the forward half maximum is the same but nevertheless you can see that the regions and the components from these gallium 2p when you have uncorrelated doublet peaks you, you can produce the same results from regions or components using the standard port and different configuration files